Hi, you're watching Chart House TV. I'm Steve. I'm here with Ryan, and today we're going to have a closer look at Red Sea's NO3 PO4X. As I'm sure most of you are already aware, keeping your nitrates and phosphates under control in your aquarium can become a bit of a chore. Now, although having high nitrate and phosphate in your tank can cause a number of problems, the most common complaint that we get is nuisance algae. And keeping those NO3 and PO4 levels under control can help stop getting that problem algae, but it can also help to improve coral colour and coral growth as well. Yeah, there's loads of different uh, medias and resins around, as well as um, reactors uh, to get rid of those, to bring those levels down. Um, and a lot of people, hobbyists, use their own mixes of uh, carbon. So they use like uh, vodkas, vinegar and sugar. Um, and that's what's prompted Red Sea to create uh, NO3PO4X, or as most people refer to it, NOPOX. Yeah, NOPOX is a unique blend of carbon and other elements that ensure that the various forms of beneficial bacteria in your aquarium have the energy to help reduce those nitrate and phosphate levels. With its relative ease of use, uh, reliability, as well as the cost effectiveness, we'll touch on that a little bit later, uh, Nopox really is for everybody. Um, it's a great way of reducing your nitrates and phosphates in an established aquarium, as well as um, if you're setting up an aquarium and you, you're using it during the cycling process. Yeah, there's only one real consideration to be made uh, if you're going to start using Nopox, and that's to make sure that you've got an effective protein yeah. skimmer. Um, that will not only help keep the oxygen levels in your aquarium where they need to be, but it would also remove any excess bacterial flocks that you might end up with in the system. Provided you've got that in place and you follow the instructions that come with the product, Nopox really is a great and reliable way to reduce nitrates and phosphates in your tank. So as we've already mentioned, uh, Nopox is really easy to use, but the first thing you're going to need is a high resolution test kit and Red Sea produce the Algae Control uh, Pro test kit and they produce that alongside the Nopox so it's probably a good place to start and a good choice. Um, and within the instructions for Nopox you actually get a chart on the levels that you're going to want for different types of aquariums. So if you have a reef aquarium or maybe a fish only system it will give you those targeted levels. Yeah so once you've got your test kit and you've carried out your tests you can then refer to that instruction manual and it will give you your recommended dosage rate based on 100 litres of aquarium water. So you're going to need to calculate the volume of your system if you don't already know that. Um, if you are calculating it remember to include the sump as part of that volume and not uh, any rock water that has been displaced when you've uh, aquascaped the tank. Now, once you've got that test result and you know the volume, you know exactly what you've got to dose, and that needs to be put into your aquarium on a daily basis. Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can do that manually yourself, or as Red Sea would recommend, you can do that via a dosing pump. Now, a couple of things worth noting on both of those points. If you're going to go down the dosing uh, pump route method, then you need to have a container that's suitable for use with Nopox. Um, and it's got to have a lid on it to avoid the, the, the nopox evaporating as well. Now, Red Sea are producing dosing ready caps with these bottles now. So if you haven't got containers or you've got containers that aren't suitable, a great solution is dosing straight from the bottle. Yeah. Now, on the manual side of things, if you're going to do it manually yourself, then um, you might miss a day. Well, you're probably going to miss a day. So if you do miss a day, don't try and catch up the next day with a double dose just carry on as normal and it might be worth at that point using your test kit to see where your nitrate and phosphate levels are yeah and regards to testing as well um red sea advise that you test weekly and then all you need to do is adjust your levels of dosing to where you are on your um on your chart and to hit your target numbers that's it yeah so red sea produce a bottle of nopox for most size aquariums really they do a little 100 ml bottle and then they do a 500 ml bottle, a one litre bottle and they now produce a five litre tub as well. Um, obviously the more you buy the more cost effective it is to um, reduce those nitrates and phosphates. So that's an, a brief overview of the algae control and nopox system by Red Sea. If you want any more information head over to the Charterhouse website or if you've got any questions please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all again next time. See ya.